Okay guys, here we go. First time up the tower. When it was built in 1958, it was the tallest building in Mexico City. It's still one of the most recognizable symbols. Uh, but I've never been up it, and neither has Nari, neither has my friend who's holding the camera right now. Say hi, Yegor. Hello, the Ninja Travel fans. I yeah. missed you. He was actually in one of my early videos like a long time ago. Yeah. Dare I say one of the best episodes of the Ninja Travel? <laughs> the best episodes. <laughs> it was worth the wait. It was worth every second. He's visiting from Canada, and we thought this was a great chance for the three of us to go up the tower. So we're going to show you what it's like. I'm also going to tell you if it's worth it. And yeah, it should be fun. This is also the site of one of the busiest road crossings in the city. Check out how crazy this is when the light changes. Oh my god. Did you guys see that guy almost got hit by a motorbike? Really? I got it on camera, yeah, it was crazy. Now first of all, we have to figure out how to get inside this thing. It's where it says Cielito, to the left. Ah, gracias. So yeah, Yegor has been visiting us from Vancouver. You've been here about, what, 24 hours? Yeah. What do you think so far? Uh, it's a really cool city. Yeah. A lot to see. Bustling. Amazing food. Yeah. Too many impressions. We blew your mind with those fish tacos today, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> Within 24 hours, I had the best tacos of my life, <laughs> as expected. Okay guys, here we go. First time up the tower. You guys who live in Mexico City will know that it's very rare to get a beautiful blue day like this. A blue sky day like this, I mean. <laughs> Check out the shadow of the tower behind me. There's the walking street down below. Oh, they look like ants. So guys, we took one elevator up to uh, floor 37, and then I think there's an observation deck that's on floor 42. So we're gonna take another elevator, and we're gonna go right up to the top. What do you think, Nai? Hmm, I think yeah, at night it will be great. <laughs> Yeah, as the sun goes down. Yeah. Pretty cool view, huh? Oh yeah, breathtaking. I was gonna say we have the best view in the city, but that helicopter might have a slightly better view, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> You're next, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it for the gram. Well guys, the sun has set and the moon has come out. It's hard to capture in the video, but just a beautiful full moon right in front of us. And over there, I think I see a mountain with snow on top. Absolutely huge. I don't know the name of that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 
Well guys, the sun has gone down, the lights are coming on. Overall, I think this was a, this definitely surpassed my expectations. Sometimes going up towers, it seems like a very touristy thing to do. But honestly, if you get a clear day like this, this is by far the best view of the city that I've ever seen. Uh, it costs 110 pesos, so that's like six bucks US, something like that. Nari, how was the experience? Yeah, it's been great. <laughs> Especially the moon is so big today, right? And bright. Yeah. Yeah, it's full moon. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I love the yeah the view of nighttime here. Yeah? Mm. We got a clear sky. We got a beautiful full moon. Can't complain about that. As always, guys, I'm Dan from the New Travel. I'll see you next time. <laughs>